Hello and welcome to episode 241 of the Daily Sales Message, where every single day I share a piece of simple and actionable sales advice, a story, sales techniques, insights that I have that are designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. In today's episode, I'm talking about a particular kind of DM, direct message, that you should never, ever reply to, ever. And you may well have done this. You probably didn't realize that you're doing it. God, I'm being so cryptic. You're already here listening to the episode. I can just tell you all the secrets now. Okay. So when you send a DM to some indirect message, whether you're, they're known to you or not, so, hey, James, how are you? Have you had any thoughts about buying that thing from me or whatever kind of terrible follow-up you might be doing because most follow-ups are poor, unfortunately, but I can certainly help you with that. So you've sent, sent the follow-up, there we go, and you hear nothing. We hear nothing back. Then what? Sometimes people do this, they and I call it replying to your own message. So I've sent the message, I've had nothing back from the person, so I've kind of replied to my own, I'm, I'm G'ing up the comment, oh, did you have any thoughts on that? Well, all this kind of thing. We're just looking for just different ways of saying, can I have your money yet? <laughs> Ultimately, can I have your money yet? That's what we're trying to say. But replying to your own message is something I really, really do not want you to do. I don't want anybody to do that because it just looks a bit sad. It looks a bit desperate. If you want to follow these people up, there's lots more intelligent ways of doing it. If you reply to your own message once, that's bad enough. But I have people do it on a continual basis. Just want to see if you got this. Is this of interest? Blah, blah, blah. You have to remember that behavior is communication behavior is a language if i haven't responded in any way whatsoever there's no point asking me if i'm interested because i've pretty much told you i'm not because i haven't replied to you essentially i don't care how busy i am we're all busy yeah i get that but if something's really of interest to me all of a sudden i'm not busy and i've got time for it and i can focus on it so replying to your own message this is a telling off episode i'm really sorry replying to your own message please don't do it there's more intelligent ways of following people up We'll explore this in later editions of the Daily Sales Message. I've got a course in particular on how to follow up people effectively, but replying to a message, essentially in my book, is a bit of a waste of time. And it just makes you feel crap as well because you're trying to get a conversation started, trying to G things up, and you're just getting nothing back whatsoever. Right, that's it for quite a downbeat episode of the Daily Sales Message. Sorry about that. Tomorrow in episode 242, haha, <laughs> still on the follow up trail. Um, another thing that you should, it's another, this is a trilogy, of, a telling off trilogy. Look at this. <laughs> another thing you shouldn't do when it comes to following people up. I'll explain more in tomorrow's episode. If you haven't already, please hop on over to Selling Confidence Score. Dot com. That's sellingconfidencescore.com. There are 20 questions across four categories. You'll get a very, very precise score on how well or not so well you might be doing at sales and selling. But more importantly, you'll get an action plan, a free practical action plan that will help you to improve what you are doing. Thank you for listening all the way to the end or watching all the way to the end. If you're on YouTube, I do appreciate it. I'll catch you tomorrow for the final of our Telling Off Trilogy series. Accidental Telling Off Trilogy series. <laughs> See you then. Thank you.